Right, so it's Saturday night now, losing track of what days I've got. And this is the big camp out. Uh, me and the kids are really up for this, raising money for the NHS, doing things that's right. And Hazel has backed out of it. She's gone off to bed, she said. But I'll give you, I'll let you see what sort of disarray we're in. We didn't go for the tent in the end. We thought, I oh, can't bother with all that. So we're using the lounge as a tent. Because you can't, you know, there's no rules and regulations or in the rules and regulations. It doesn't say, in fact, it specifies that you can use your lounge. And uh, that's what we're doing. So we're going to turn around and see where Willow is, all snuggly, buggly. There's the kids down there, look. They've got, you what? She's, Willow started moaning already and it's not even started. There you go, that one. It's like, Fox is, uh, <laughs> all right, Fox? Yeah. Looking forward to this? Yeah. Get all snuggly, everybody. Hazel obviously is not doing any of it. She's not getting involved in it because she's a, she's a. Oh, you, yeah, you're staying down here for the purposes of this video. As soon as it's off, bang, you're out. <laughs> Is that true? No, I'll stay down here. Right. Oh, Hazel's entering right. into the spirit. Lily just doesn't move, so she's <laughs> here whether we're here or not, really. Look at her, look. She's playing statues. Oh, she, hang on. She moved there. Fox. Fox is going to get you. get snuggly buggly, you lot. Yeah. He's taking up the He's, got, he's moved that bed around. He's like, a, he's like a Roman gypsy with his caravan. He's moved that bed around 15 times. You know, he's like, he's like the princess in the flipping pea. He's so comfy. He's like, like stuff to sleep That on. is very true. He is like the princess in the pea. <laughs> so Fox, yeah. are you like the princess in the pea? Uh, I don't know what that is. Yeah, because he's a king. Yeah, because he's part of the white flyers. Oh, the what? Not a clue, the wife flyers. I don't know. I don't know, go along with it. Are you two, or look at you two snuggly buggly in your camping outfits. Look at us camping. Look at her not entering the spirit of it. <laughs> I will stay down here in camp, don't you? You will stay there in camp? I will stay down here in camp. You can be our maid. You can go and make no, tea and sandwiches as the money No, I'm not doing that because the kids actually need to go to sleep. Oh, come on, Hazel. It's no. only... Yeah, not, 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 hey. you know, not now. You hey. want us to fall asleep so you can sneak off under cover of darkness? Yeah. <laughs> You're not staying down here, are you? Hey. Are you really? Because hey. everybody on my channel, I'm going to get to shame you if you don't. Shame you. No, I'll stay down here. started the sleep phase already. Daddy, Actually, she's not been out of it. Yeah. What, Fox? Daddy, let's watch Shuggington. Yeah, we'll watch Shuggington, right. I've given me orders. Watch you'll watch Chuggington and you'll flip it well enjoy Chuggington. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you will. No. You can be an honorary Chuggington boy, lo Chuggington fun. loving boy for a bit. Hazel, you've got to make the sounds ah. for Chuggington as well. Let's see if you can do it. Choo choo! Choo choo! I don't know the song though. Chuggington! Chugga 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 chuggington! Chuggington! Chugga 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 You know I can carry a tune off. Chubbington? Yes, Chubbington. Me and I used to sing Chubbington. You got them to sing Chubbington at poor old Dan. Who wants to watch? Your eyes shut and your mouth closed? I'll go for a few hours of that, please. Who wants to watch Toy Story? Hmm. Right, guys, as you can see, we're in for oh, seconds of fun here. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to watch some Chuggington and read a book, I think, for the kids. So we'll see. I might read them a horror book. Mm. Horror book. <laughs> no, I don't think they go for that. Hazel's only crying and calling her, oh, my friend, it's in the dark. No, she wouldn't. Right, um, Hazel, the runner, that is. I'll tell you, she's running, she's running, you know. Anyway, speak to you in a bit. Well, good morning, everybody. It's the day after the great NHS sleep out, camp out. I don't know. It's too early. Um, so, yeah, quite a good night, really. Um, wasn't too bad. Um, once Fox had turned the volume down on his iPad, which he had screaming out at the top of the volume, um, or top volume, I should say. So I'm not with it yet. I haven't had a tea. When I've had my tea, I'll be able to function properly. Just got to wait for Hazel to get up and uh, make one, and then uh, and then we can crack back into it. She's been like that since about uh, eleven o'clock yesterday morning. 
She hasn't moved. She's just laying there. Oh, you? She, are you? Okay. Yeah. Uh, but she's not. So she's laying there. Just as I say, since about eleven o'clock, hasn't done a thing. I've done all the cooking and cleaning and washing up. I had to put the table together, but she insisted. Well, she got up for a couple of minutes because she wanted to. She was embarrassed and she wanted to look like she put the table together. Um, so yeah. So message for Steve. Steve. Uh, Steve's cameras and stuff. Um, oh, bear with me. And any minute now, mate, she's gonna blow. I'm gonna do this for you. Any minute now, she's gonna blow, and it'll be like nothing you've ever seen. She'll probably smash you up and down. So I hope your wife, you and your wife, are watching, doing this for you. Um, yeah, she's uh, she's not done much, uh, really. The lily slept there. Yeah, but all said and done, it was quite a good night. <clears throat> it was good fun. Um, how, how did you enjoy it, Hazel? It was fun. I didn't, I didn't then why were you moaning up since eleven yesterday I didn't morning? Have very much sleep. Well, you'd had so much during the day, you probably couldn't get off during the evening. It's not a time picture, is it? <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna ask Willow how she feels about it. Willow, how did you did you enjoy it last night? You don't sound very <coughs> happy. Hang on. You better not be coughing. <laughs> if you're coughing, you're going straight out into the shed. <laughs> right. Have you had a good night? Yeah. Yeah? Is that it? Do you want to expand on that? or? It was comfortable. Was it comfortable? Yeah. Okay. You were cuddling... Oh, you were cuddling up to me at one point, weren't you? Uh -huh. You were cuddling Lily also. Well, no, Fox was cuddling Lily, wasn't he, at one point? She licked you in the face. She would do that. She was probably licking her ass before that. <laughs> so, <laughs> anyway, let's crack on with the day. Get that tea going. Hazel, get that tea going. Oh, God, <laughs> right, I better make the tea because it will never get done. You know what it's like in this house. If I don't do it, nothing gets done. Right, see in a bit. She'll kill me. I'll pay for this mm -hmm. dearly. Right, see you in a bit. See what Hazel's got a busy day. <laughs> um, excuse me, is that Lego? It is. I'm is that Fox's Lego? It is. It's it like you've got an addiction to Lego. Lego. You have got. I wouldn't put that in your mouth. I'm taking the bits off that I put on the wrong bit. Yeah, but don't you don't know? What, there's a virus about it's you know. Inside a box. It's, it's yeah, but it's pre-packed before. Oh. It's Stop putting things years. in your mouth unless I tell you it's safe. <laughs> it's right. been in the box for years. Look, okay. she's left half a job. You read that. Uh, half a job, Hazel. Start. You read me out that oh. comment this morning about trying to wind me up. What comment? You know. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know look, at look at the post. Where's the car? You know that's step with the cardboard and you need That's not step tops. That's like cardboard yeah. rubbish. Yeah. In your imagination, it may be a spaceship or a step or a football yeah. or whatever, but no. Yeah. Um, next to that I know what you mean, yes. Jump down. Oh, look, oh, do you know what? It's been funny. This is probably about the fifth or sixth day we haven't had any dinner because she won't cook. She refuses to cook because she's addicted to... Well, if Lego was food, we'd all be full up, but sadly it isn't, so we'll just have a crack on and see what happens. No, why don't you just bother? Look at her, look. As you can see, the antibacterial stuff's not been used. No, it's not been used. Why, I hear you ask. Well, just look at the culprit right in front of me with the Lego. Nothing's getting done. She's even asked me to make tea. Yeah, the cheek of it. I've had to get up off the sofa to come out of the kitchen <laughs> to make a cup of tea, and she's just, well, it's not on, is it? Seriously, this is not on. She's taking the wee-wee now. I said to her, give me 10 minutes, get my breath back, have a little rest. And then, you know, because I think, you know, in the tradition of the great British workforce, we have got a cracking workforce. But my element of it was kind of sit down in between everything, which is probably why I haven't held on to many jobs over the years. Not really. I'm a cracking worker. I'm an amazing, amazing animal carer. We don't call it keeper now. It's called carers. We're animal carers. We're on PC. 
So yeah, apparently the word keeper was a little bit offensive because it was like you were a prison guard. But uh, yeah, look at me with my ear quotes. So it's animal carer now, I'm not zookeeper anymore. You're a zoological carer. Mm. What a load of bollocks. Yeah, I'm not at a disco. It's Willow's shirt. It's blinding. I feel like a blinking rabbit. Anyway, she won. Not that we, we don't endorse gambling of any kind. Well, the Grand National doesn't count as gambling. Hazel says the Grand National doesn't count as gambling. I beg to differ. <laughs> because she put 300 quid on a virtual race yesterday. Lost the lot. Did she didn't. She didn't. We've done this pound thing. And uh, everybody was involved. The kids. Hazel's mum and dad, her brother, his children. So on and so on. And... Um, I think, was it your, who was it who won it? Oh, Willow won it. I'm saying, forgetting, the whole point is to say that Willow won it. So Willow won it and she won 10 pounds. Mm -hmm. And what did you do? This is this is what they're like with money. What did you do with it? I spent it. What did you spend it on? A Roblox. Roblox. <laughs> I wish I'd have invented Roblox. Imagine the money I could have had. So she spent that. Her granddad sent her 25 quid. She hasn't spent that. She hasn't spent that yet. Only because she can't get a hand, a dirty little mitts on it. But yeah, she spent the... Ten, ten virtual ten pounds that she won on the virtual Grand National yesterday, and yeah, she's just terrible. <laughs> I got two pounds too. You what? I got two pounds. Where'd you get two? No, you didn't. Oh no, not no. Mom, All right, we'll get back to you, Fox. When you you know when you talk a bit of sense. Yeah, I gave you so two pounds, ten or fifteen well, years. I gave you a pound. We hope. Oh, See you in a bit. Okay, so are you saying that you condone the that you condone the art of gambling? No. For your children, what? you gave her two pounds. No, you you paid her two pounds for getting you something. Clean the bottle hasn't gone down the top. I pointed that out earlier. I've got oh, to reiterate that. Uh, right, are you looking forward to the live tonight? Are you actually trying to make me really pissed off with you? Uh, no, not at all. <laughs> <laughs> right, no, seriously, are you looking forward to the live tonight? Yes, yeah, so I'm quite. I'm quite looking forward to just. I'm looking forward to lunch. Right, to so you don't finish sentences now, is that yeah. doing something, something we should be looking out for you. with this illness? Really horrible to you. People don't finish sentences. Right, go on. Because you're winding me up. I'm not so winding you up. So you wait till the live. You want me to be on your live? Oh, no, I don't. You want to be on it because you're pushy. Be on it, you're pushy. I don't want to be You're on like it. one of them children entertainers. Fine, I'll go upstairs and you can stay down here with the kids trying to do your No, you're all right, you're all right. You come, no, you come along. All is forgiven, my love. Well, Did I tell you what a wonderful, wonderful round, woman you are? It's not the case the other Did way I tell around. you what a wonderful woman you are and how I'd be lost without you? Mm -hmm. And that you're absolutely stunningly beautiful and the best thing in the world ever that's ever happened to me, apart from chips. No, I think that's probably the worst thing that's ever happened. Well, you say worst, I say best. Anyway, we'll crack on with that. Spider Boy! Hey! Are you hey. going to get dressed today, Fox? That'd be Fox, no. Get a load of this weather is absolutely beautiful. Do you know what? Listen, guys, whatever you do, I know it's beautiful. Please stay in. Don't go outside. If you've got a garden, fantastic. If you haven't, try and get out, get a bit of the fresh air, but don't go too far for obvious reasons. And um, try and enjoy it, what we've got. But yeah, we're going to have a barbecue later, so. I'll, I'll video that and you can watch Hazel. God, she eats. Um, so do the kids. Actually, the kids are terrible. They can't... We're going to have to go shopping every couple of hours. They eat that much. But no, they don't, obviously. But yeah, but anyway, I'm, I'm quite happy. I've got, my, I've got my tea. It's not my favourite cup. It's my second favourite cup. It's my second favourite cup. So yeah, so... I'm enjoying my tea. Got my tea. That was a slurp of this. I've got sunshine, I've got tea, perfect. I got sunshine on a cloudy day. I think there's four of these chairs, all right? Yeah, I know, bad, isn't it? <sighs> this is gorgeous out of here. Are you enjoying it, Hazel? We made Hazel come out into the sun to do these chairs purely so she can get some vitamin D. It's not at all because I'm too lazy to, to make them. Um, it's purely for her health benefit. I, I'm thinking of her all the time, you see, that's what kind of a husband I am. So loving, I'm loving, I'm, I'm, you know, I bet people out there, women out there are now thinking, if I only had someone like him, you know, my life would be complete. Because let's be honest, that's what you think, isn't it? Tell them how complete your life is, love, with me. Tell them how amazing it is, love. 
Would you like to sort of expand upon that amazing? With uh, super brilliant, handsome, devil may care, chap about town, something like that? Yeah? Okay, well I'll go with that anyway. Right. Good old, get ready for the barbecue for the afternoon. Well, I don't know why I said that in a bad Australian accent. I have no idea. So we've got a nice selection there. Just hoping the kids like it. More for me if they don't. There you go. Get a load of that. Yummity, yummity, yum, yum, yum. Absolutely fantastic. This is man's job. This is man's work. Man get meat, cook meat, eat meat. Thank you, my darling. That's very kind of you. You all right? Yeah. You having fun? No. Nope. Why? Just cause. Fair enough. Sorry, I can't. I've got to look at this meat again. I can't look at you. Beautiful. Can't wait to tuck into that. Lovely. Got some nice condiments. Beautiful. Yummy, yum, 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 yum. In my tum. Now, I know what you're thinking. This isn't diet food, Dan. But you know what? I'm ahead of the diet, so stuff it. I'm just going to have some of this because it's a lovely day. And you know, but what's going on in the world? We all deserve a little treat. Mmm, smell that. Well, you can't, can you? But it's gorgeous. Look at that. Oh, full of meaty goodness. I'm sorry if you're a vegan or a vegetarian, but yeah. We're not. Yeah, we're not. I used to be, but no more. Look at that. Gorgeous. Lily, keep... I can see what you're doing, Lil. <laughs> sneaky, sneaky, Lily, Lily. Oh, Alright, go and chug it with kid. Kids! Kids! Fox, Fox Willow! Fox is right behind you. Get your brother. Because lunch is ready. Oh, it will be in a minute anyway. Yeah. Cool. Look at this. Look at this. This is a feast and a half. This is. Perfect. This will blow the blues away. Blow the blues away, Hazel. Perfect. Look at that, Fox. Loads of meat there. Look at that. Looking forward to this. Yeah. Good. Fox even got me a little drink of water. Bless him. So that's good. All right, I'm gonna. Shall we tuck into this? Let's tuck into this. Come over, sit down. Hazel, you've got the crisps. You're slipping, darling. Crisps? I brought crisps. Never mind. Never mind. So, as you can see, not even Lily left out of the family meal. We always give her treats. Look at her little face. Fluffy face. Of course, once this is gone, she'll just bugger off. I did try for a bit of bread. No, she won't have it. I'm not a duck, she said. And I'm certainly not the magic duck in the bathroom. Stuffed? Right, we made short work of that, haven't we? Just <laughs> Oh, I'm stuffed. Hey, for two days to build the furniture, five seconds to sit on it and eat the food. Yeah, but you know what? Now it's done, we can eat as much food as we want off the table. Oh, now. Yeah, it's, it's, it's not done. I've got another two chairs to go. You know. have, you have, yeah. I must admit, all joking aside, they do seem to be a bit of a pain in the ass to put together. Most of it's all right. It's just getting the... It's getting the washers through, like getting one of the things through. And the lining it up, up, isn't it? And then making sure you've got enough pressure on it yeah. to... Yeah. <sighs> but, so uh, you should cut that up for her. Oh, yeah, because she can't cope with it otherwise. She'll choke. I want to do that to my baby. I yeah, cut it up for choke, her. Look at the choke, is she? Look at her. Mom, mom, mom. Look at her face. Oh, no, my fluffy duck, my fluffy baby. Thank you, darling. <clears throat> Thank you. Um. <clears throat> Thank you. Thank you for cooking the barbecue, Daddy. You're welcome, Lily. Right, I'm back in my normal seat. <clears throat> I'm going to put a bit of a disclaimer in here. I know it looks like I, I badger Lily, uh, badger Lily, badger, badger Hazel to the point where she's going to blow. But it's something we've always done with each other. We've always wound each other up. We've always pushed each other. Through. Only joking. It's all done in jest. It's all done in fun. She's a... Um, between you and me, she's brilliant. She's the best wife that I could have ever imagined getting. She's wonderful. She's fantastic with the kids. Uh, don't tell her I've said this. And she doesn't really look at the vlog, so she probably won't see it. But, yeah, she's absolutely superb. Now, as for putting the furniture together, I do help. Um, I know it looks like I don't, and I make a big thing of it. I'll look at you in a minute, love. I know it looks like I don't, and I make a big thing of it, but I do contribute. Unfortunately, there's some things I can't do because... Um, I'm not disabled, but I've got, my arm was smashed to pieces a few years ago, nearly lost my arm, not going into that, there's backstories in, in my sort of compilation of videos, if you're interested in that, it had to be rebuilt, 
it was a case of touch and go with the arm. Um, they did a lot of work on it. They put it together, but it's never had the full range and it's, it's quite weak now. Um, believe it or not, I used to be very, 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 very thin at one point and, and I used to work like a Trojan. I still work as hard as I can, but I'm in a different field. I've been moved from the more onto the education as far as wild animals are concerned and doing other bits and bobs and just monitoring them and, and looking after them. Um, as I said early, zoological carer. Um, so, yeah, I mean, but apart from that, she, she just, she absolutely loves putting stuff together. She loves doing Lego. She loves putting furniture together to the point where she won't even let me near it because obviously she doesn't trust me. Um, but she, she does, she's a, she's protective over that. She doesn't want me to hurt myself. So yeah. So despite my joking and mucking around with her, she really is the best. She's in my opinion, she's the best, certainly for me, but everybody's wife, I guess is the best for them. Uh, and same with the husbands. Well, maybe not everybody, but most, I guess. So yeah, but we do wind each other up and it's just what we do. So yeah, no, there's no malice in it. There's no malice in it. And, uh, yeah, she's great. Speak to you in a bit. Right. <clears throat> I think this is the vlog for today. I hope you enjoy it. I hope you get a few laughs out of it, a bit of a kick. Um, we certainly had an enjoyable day today. Now, we're going, or I'm going on a live with, Hazel's going to be involved later. Um, the link will be below in the description. So you'll be able to see that. It starts at quarter to seven, and there are a few of us on it. Um, Ray's a girl. Uh, she's a vlogger from Canada. She's the lady who hosts it. Lovely, lovely lady. Um, we've got Pippa from Worm's Eye View. And we've also got Keith and Daryl from Campervan Tales. We did it last week. Uh, quite a good laugh. Lots of fun. And um, as I say, the uh, information will be down in the description. So you can you can link up to that. And then you'll, you go come through to watch us live. Join in. Have a bit of a laugh. Contribute. It's all fun. It's all fun. It's just a little thing that we're doing to take people's minds off of what's going on and just remove them from the everyday glum and dark situation. So join us. Love to see you there. As I say, link below in the description and look forward to seeing you there. Bye now.